Collaboration and partnership play crucial roles in sustaining learning at this time of pandemic. Teachers, parents, school leaders, and external partners have to work together to address the many challenging issues of what learning platform is to be considered. In the new normal, there should be a stronger home and school partnership that can facilitate better and more consistent communication between teachers and parents. The right to better education should always be upheld by providing multiple pathways to learning that can accommodate every learner. challenges of this pandemic that hindered the conduct of the face-to-face -face classes in all schools. The Department of Education committed to ensure educational continuity amidst the challenges of this pandemic that hinders the conduct of the face-to-face -face classes in all schools. The Department issued the school calendar and activities for school year 2020-2021 as stipulated in DepEd Order No. 7, Series of 2020. After a thorough consultation and discussion, the DepEd Central Office reached a decision to set the opening of classes on August 24, 2020, and it will end on April 30, 2021. The Division of Bago City set a dry run on August 3, 2020. Our school, Bicauntoy Elementary School, selected 20 pupils per grade level to be a part of this activity. Their parents were given modules for their children to work on for a one-week time. This dry run was done to test the effectiveness of modular distance learning that our school will offer this school year.
2019 pandemic, we need to completely reimagine education because all of us now are embracing the new one. Upon conducting the dry run modular learning, for me it goes well and smooth because we are able to, to gain the support of our stakeholders and community allies. There are also advantages upon using this learning modality. One of these is children and parents can maximize their time and can create their own pace of study, and which lead to a happy family bonding. During the enrollment period in public schools, ang mga magulang at tagapag-alaga were made to answer the LESF or the Learner Enrollment Survey form na kung saan they were asked about their preferred alternative learning mode. And the result was most of the parents or guardians pinili ang modular bilang learning modality para sa kanilang mga anak. So last Monday, August 3, 2020, sinimulan na ang dry run sa modular dito sa Vita Untoy Elementary School na kung saan ang 20 parents of selected pupils picked the modules of 8 subjects in grade 3. At talagang nakita ko ang excitement sa mga parents na sila as parent teachers na kanilang mga anak sa bahay involved sa pag-aaral ng mga bata. At kanina lang, August 7, 2020, Araw na ito, they returned the modules back here in school, leaving the answer sheets and their comments and suggestions for the corrections and betterment of the modules. Good afternoon. I am one of the parents from Vidal Kauntoy Elementary School. And my child is from grade 3. And I do understand the process and the system of education for now because of the pandemic COVID-19 that affects everyone but last week my child has been chosen to have the dry run for modules and for me it is considered a home school in fact we have noticed some advantages and disadvantages but I, as a parent, I must say that having module in school to be sent in home is quite difficult. However, it is interesting because we have there to help and support our kids for their study. So I think for the modules, it would be nicer to have more clearer and colorful content, especially for the drawing would become more readable and understandable so i hope the department of education can find ways to address our concern and thank you and god bless everyone